I'm Kat and Eben. Welcome back to Holo Holo, your top entertainment and lifestyle show for Asian Pacific Americans. And joining us today are two of the actors from the Andrew Liu and Andrew Lau directed film Revenge of the Green Dragons, which tells the story of Asian gangs in New York. Welcome, Justin Chan and Leonard Wu. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for having us. <laughs> now, um, before we get started and talk about the actual film, I want to know how you were first introduced to the project. Was it through a script or was it through word of mouth? Justin, I'll start with you. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, just like most casting situations, mm -hmm. we were uh, we all auditioned for it. Mm -hmm. um, I think they were looking for something very specific. Right. Um, so I think they did a pretty big casting search. Yeah. They went to like New York, Toronto, Vancouver, mm. uh, LA obviously. And, and I think me and Leonard, we, we auditioned for it. <laughs> <laughs> did you get, so you guys read the script. What was it about the film that made you say, okay, I want to be a part of this? Well, basically the first thing is it's based on a true story. Right. And it's based on a very interesting New Yorker article. Um, and you know, these are real people, breathing mm -hmm. people, and these are real stories. Right. So that in itself is very uh, interesting for an actor. Right. Leonard, um, your character, it seems, plays um, a pretty dark <laughs> yeah. guy. Right, Ruthless, right. maybe. What was it about that character that you said, okay, I want to go audition for this role? Um, like Justin said, the uh -huh. whole process of auditioning was, it was a pretty long, extensive, grueling process. Mm -hmm. um, I had originally auditioned for another role, but they were like, when I met with them, mm -hmm. I was like, you're Ah Chung. I was like, <laughs> okay. Um, and as I kind of studied the script over when they had said that, right. um, I mean, the character is just so much fun. Mm -hmm. you, you get to go to a dark place, and generally as well-adjusted human beings, we try not to, we try to avoid those dark places, right. but this was an opportunity to explore somebody who was, find some humanity, but also mm -hmm. be able to play around with how crazy, how dark he is. and. Um, in many ways, I tell the other actors, I'm like, I had to, I got to go on set and do whatever I wanted. <laughs> they were, you know, Justin had the love story with Suya, like he, right. he had to be, and Steven had to, Kevin's character had mm -hmm. to be like struggling with his internal angst and, you know, being a part of the gang and everything. And I just kind of... Let loose. I just got to let loose and, <laughs> you know, chew on scenery. <laughs> chew on scenery? Yeah, you just go, go crazy. <laughs> okay, and so what kind of um, preparation did you have to do? A lot of physical preparation, mental preparation? Uh, f for me, for uh, in, in terms of preparing, yeah. I worked out like crazy. I was working out a ton, trying to put on as much weight as I could. Uh -huh. Um, just to bulk up and yeah. you know look the part. Yeah. Yeah. Justin, I read that um, your role actually has less dialogue in this film, so it was a little bit of a challenge, right? Doing the emotions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I think was my biggest challenge in the movie, mm -hmm. especially with Sunny. Was um, you know the story is really told through my eyes. So there's right. voiceovers going through the movie, but in terms of you know actually being in the scene. I don't, ha I'm not like a very talkative person. Mm -hmm. I'm observing a lot. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, there's, it's very challenging to, to show how you feel without showing how you feel, yeah. you know? That's like a acting taboo. You don't want to indicate how you feel because that just looks like horrible acting. You yeah. know, that's, so, you know, that was very tough. And also, uh, there was some scenes where I had to get very emotional. I don't have mm -hmm. a lot to ramp up to it. Right, right. You know, we just start the scene at a 10. But or we go from zero to ten very quickly, and right. as an actor, that's very hard because, you know, also with the the shooting schedule, we only get one or two takes, so yeah, it's either it's I get it or I don't. Yeah, <laughs> it's very different, right? Because yeah. um, you guys were working with Andrew Lau and Lu, mm -hmm. and they're more Hong Kong fast-paced. They just shoot very fast, yeah. and, and they they uh. It's just a different style of shooting, you know, and you don't really talk about it too much. Mm -hmm. You know, with some American directors I've worked with, you discuss it. Right. You do a, you do a rehearsal and then you discuss it and then you shoot one and then you talk about some more. Mm -hmm. No, you just shoot. <laughs> what do you prefer more? This was a great learning experience. Uh -huh. It definitely made me very, very prepared. Right. I was always on, on top of things and, <laughs> and uh, very, you know, was ready to do pretty much any scene in the movie right. <laughs> the entire time because they also switch the order of the scenes around a lot. Yeah, so. so that's hard because it's in different, well, it's in different orders and so you have to feel that emotion and remember what was going on before this scene. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Leonard? Which one do you prefer? Um, 
I, you know, I think it just kind of depends from director to director. Yeah. I really, this was kind of new for me in terms of how fast they were shooting. Yeah. Um, how impromptu, mm -hmm. but it kind of lended itself to my character. So I, I really kind of enjoyed it because I remember I would talk to the first camera, second camera, and be like, "Oh, I changed my blocking from this take to this take." And they're just like, don't worry, we'll find you. Just I'm like, okay, oh, I can wow. do whatever <laughs> you I can want. Do free reign yeah. again. <laughs> they're like, we'll find you. And, uh -huh. and you know, Lau was very, Lau and Lou were very much about that. Like, they were about the performances and make sure that they're real and everything else, the, the crew is going to work around you yeah. as Don't you, worry. Yeah. As long as you're in character and you feel Pretty right. much, yeah. And so, you know, we would be concerned. I, I think at one point I went to Lau and I was like, don't you want to do more than two takes? And he's like, if you guys sucked, <laughs> we'd have to do more than two takes. But right. you guys, you know. Well, it's it's, awesome. it's, a, it's like a tough Asian father love. <laughs> right. You know? He's like, I'm not going to give you guys this, yeah. this this positive feedback. If you're doing your job, you're fine. Yeah. You, you, know? you guys have an, almost an all-star Asian cast. <laughs> now, tell me about the chemistry that you guys had. I mean, I know with you and Kev, you guys are pretty close, because didn't mm. he star in one of the films that you directed and wrote? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we did a film. We did a, we've done like a bunch of ind independents together, right, like really small right. films together. So, I mean, we're really good friends, and mm -hmm. Harry I've known before, Yeah. so we're great friends. I've known Leonard, actually, for probably 10 years now. Yeah. Oh, wow. We yeah. started around How'd the same time. How did you guys time. meet? We started <laughs> acting around the... Yeah, yeah we started started acting. At the same time, and we yeah. would chat, and we just kind of clicked, you mm -hmm. know. So it was cool to finally, I think this was the first time. Yeah, that we, we got, got to, to work, work together. together. Yeah, tell yeah. me how you guys feel about um, this Asian story being released in Hollywood. Yeah, I mean, it's just... It's just a different, you know, experience of what it is to become American mm -hmm. and the assimilation process. Right. Um, and, you know, it's not the brightest of stories, but right. it's a very realistic story. And mm -hmm. this actually happens mm -hmm. to a lot of immigrants, not just Chinese, but to, to Italians, Irish right. when they came over. Um, so it's a very universal, almost kind of, almost rite of passage to becoming, you know, your your culture becoming sort of, you know, assimilating to American culture, but it's a very dark story. Yeah. yeah. It is. yeah. <laughs> but one that needs to be told. You guys have been hitting the festivals. I know you just finished Toronto. You guys are going to hit up um, Hawaii International Film Festival, mm -hmm. and you're opening San Diego Film Festival. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having us. You can actually watch Revenge of the Green Dragons, which is now on Direct TV on demand. It will be released in select theaters in October. And if you're in Hawaii, for all our Hawaii viewers, it will be airing at Hawaii International Film Festival and also the San Diego Asian Film Festival. Time for a quick break, but we have more entertainment and lifestyle news when we return.